Hi, today I'm going to show you Live Transcribe. Live Transcribe is an app that is speech to text. It needs Wi Fi connection through Wi Fi or through your cellular data, and it only works on Android devices. So, Live Transcribe will not work on your iPhone or your iPad. I'm showing it to you on an Android tablet, but it also works on an Android phone. Okay. So right now, Live Transcribe is running. It's an automatic speech to text app. And so every once in a while, it will make a mistake. Sometimes it goes back into the sentence and fixes the mistake and sometimes it doesn't, but its accuracy is quite remarkable. It's a very, very impressive app and it's free. Right now, what you're seeing on the screen is just using the microphone that's in the tablet and you can use the microphone in your tablet or the microphone that is in your phone in order to pick up someone's voice and see it. You get to choose what kind of language everyone is speaking. And under settings, you can change the font size to make the font as large or as small as you wish it to be. I have Live Transcribe set up not to save, but you can choose to save the transcript. It will save the transcript on your device for three days and then it will go away. I don't need to have the transcript saved so I have that feature turned off. One of the cool things about live transcribe is that we don't have to use just the microphone of our tablet or our phone. If we're close to the person that we're listening to, those microphones work great. If we're in quiet, those microphones work wonderfully. But sometimes we want to have speech to text and the person we're listening to is presenting and they're further away. And in that case, you can connect a Bluetooth mic to your tablet or your Android phone and it will run through live transcribe. So my friend Tina, she'll just show, um, taught me all about this Bluetooth mic called Smart Mic Plus, and it's quite remarkable. So if I want to use a Bluetooth mic, I pair the mic to the device, and then under settings, I tell it I want it to listen to the Smart Mic Plus. Now the neat thing about listening to the Smart Mic Plus is that if the person we're listening to, I'm gonna walk away and you can keep looking at the screen here. If the person we're listening to is further away, so I'm like five feet away, now I'm 10 feet away, I'm in another room and live transcribe is hearing my voice just fine because my voice is coming through the Bluetooth mic. So as long as you're in a range for the Bluetooth mic, everything works great. Another mic that you can use with Live Transcribe is a mic that does well in a small group setting around a table, especially in noise, like the Roger Select. So the Roger system works with a transmitter and a receiver. So you need to have both parts. You need to have a transmitter and a receiver and for this example, I'm going to show you using the MyLink NetLoop receiver. The MyLink NetLoop receiver can be plugged right into your device. And then under settings, under more settings, we can say we want to use the USB audio device. So the USB audio device is my select. And right now nothing should be happening because I have the select mic muted. So if I go ahead and activate the select mic, then the select mic um, should start picking up voices. 
So the select mic is a mic that does really well in a small group in noise. It has an adaptive feature that changes the output based on how noisy the environment is. And the sound is being picked up by the receiver. So if I want to mute it, I would just tap it. Now no sound is being picked up by the receiver and live transcribe is not transcribing anything. And if I want to activate it again, then it would go ahead and pick up. So the select mic can be worn by a person with this magnetic clip or a lanyard, and it doesn't matter what position it's put in, it adjusts itself. So in a way you don't have to think of it having a top or a bottom. It can be set on a table or a podium for a presentation. It can be placed on a table for a group. And we used this for a group of six very lively friends having dinner. And it did an awesome job um, picking up those voices and live transcribed did a great job of turning those voices to text um, on the tablet during the entire dinner. So again, live transcribe is free. It only works on Android devices and it's automatic. So sometimes it does make some mistakes. Um, I find its reliability to be quite impressive and I've shown it to several friends who wanted some help hearing um, with the speech to text app and everyone's loving it so far. So give it a try and I hope it goes well for you. Good luck.